special. Right, yes, hello, and welcome back to Free Vinyl Discovery. Today, we have a return of an artist we have already covered so far in the series. Good to see a second album from this band in the pile. Uh, it's a band that's very close to my heart. You already know it because you read the title. It's Fleetwood Mac Mirage. Well, this is an album that I had actually never heard in full before, just like Tango in the Night. The albums that I knew of Fleetwood Mac, who are, by the way, one of my all-time favourites, were Fleetwood Mac, the self-titled from 1975, Rumours and Tusk. And I should also add, I was a listen to Say You Will from 2003. Since starting this series, I then listened to Tango in the Night, which I really loved, apart from the fact that it was damaged beyond belief. And now we have reached Mirage. This album, in the physical form, is pretty good to look at. There's a little crease in the cover here, but there's this little like print here from the record label, which I really like. It did skip a couple of times, not nearly as badly as Tango in the Night did, which just skipped on every popular song. It didn't skip that often overall, and I am tempted to say that it was just because I didn't brush it very effectively, because looking at the album, it does look near perfect. So I think with a little bit more TLC, this could actually scrape up to be a really nice album. Although now I am looking at it and there's a couple of marks here that do look like they're on, well, they're on the A side, which did skip a couple times. My thoughts on the album in terms of the production is just a glowing review. Oh my, I cannot believe that I avoided Mirage for so long. I always liked Gypsy uh, and Oh Diane. Those are the two songs that I knew on this album that I really liked. The third song that I knew on that album was Hold Me, which I always really loathed and detested. But you know what? First of all, uh, in listening to it in album context, it, I've changed my mind. It's fine. I'm never going to go, oh my god, I love Hold Me. But it's, it was alright, actually. And I, I don't need to be quite so harsh on it as I always have been. But oh my god, this album is terrific. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot of songs on that first side. The um, Can't Go Back, That's Alright, Book of Love and Gypsy. I just love Gypsy. Always have, so I knew that was going to happen. And then I go over to the B-side, and actually the B-side had a lot of really good quality songs on it as well. Like Empire State, that was a bit of a rocker. Um, Straight Back, Eyes of the World and Wish You Were Here. Uh, those are the new discoveries that I really did enjoy from this album. Um, but of course, Oh Diane and Gypsy, they were always very important to me. Very special songs, especially Gypsy. Really heartfelt song. They're doing something very strange with Lindsay Buckingham's voice in this era. It sounds very strange, a little bit echoey, a little bit distant. I'm not really liking it. Some of his solo stuff was doing it as well at this time. I'm thinking about the songs that he did for National Lampoon's Vacation. Oh, Diane is the exception. Oh, Diane he gets a very 60s vibe in it. And it's very fun in that respect. It was a song that I always thought was a bit older when I heard it. I never really put it into context of Fleetwood Mac. But the, actually, it's a song from 1982, so who'd have thought it? It's a bit different, and I think that that's probably Lindsay's best contribution on this album. Overall, I think that Stevie Nicks is the one that's really pulling it together. Her, her vocals and her lyrics are the strongest on this album, uh, and you can at me in the comments for it. But Christine McVie, I've been a little bit hard on. I don't really need to be. Hold Me isn't as bad as I made it seem. My Lindsay, my dear Lindsay, who I think is a really awesome guitarist and one of my favourite members of the band, he's letting this album down. I don't think it's necessarily his fault. I think his mixing is a little bit off. I don't think they really did him any justice. He's definitely done better. He will do better. Tango in the Night is a great example of what Lindsay can do. Wasn't coming through on this album. But... With that being said, I'm so glad that I own Mirage. I reckon I could tidy this up and it'll be all right. It didn't skip as often as Tango in the Night. It's definitely a livable album. It's free. At the end of the day, all of these are free. I can't complain. <laughs> and having, um, this is the third album in my collection now. I'm really pleased to have it. And I probably won't seek another one unless it's a really cheap one. And it's not going to be. Sleep with Mac in it. Those are my thoughts on Mirage. Let me know in the comments what you think of Fleet of Mech, what you think of Mirage. I don't think it's necessarily the most critically acclaimed album, so I might be making some bold statements here. But if you've watched my contributions on Tom's channel, you would have seen it coming that I was going to like this album. 80s Fleetwood Mac, can't go wrong for Sam. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week.